Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. It's Bob. I'll do all the recording to Bob, or I'll... You knew that, or else you wouldn't be watching this video. And if it's the first time you somehow found it through friends or whatever, I'd like to say welcome, new person. This is the world according to Bob, where I sort of express my thoughts. And... And then... You listen to my thoughts. Yeah. Um... I'm going to review comic books, talk about Gravity Falls, and... And... Well... Talk about the new Pluto move. The Pl Pluto lander. Yeah. If you haven't heard yet, there's a new lander, and it landed on Pluto recently. Um. Yeah. Right about the time that in comic books they're changing the future, like to bat, like Batman Beyond. Well, well, as you can see it. It has ink in it. I kinda like ink, but they really haven't explained what happened to ink vis-a-vis -vis the last run. The last run was... The last run of Batman Beyond... You had ink, you found out... You found out the Skull Guy survived, and a bunch of other stuff. And then they interrupted it with Future's End, and killed off Terry McGinnis. Yeah. That is a big letdown, but I'll give it 13 issues. 13 tops. Because 13 is the exact number that Bart Allen made it as a flash. And Bart was a way better flash than... Bart was a way better flash than... Tim is Batman. I mean, I like Tim as... As a Batman Beyond, but at some point they're gonna have... Can't see me. They're gonna have to have Tim come back to the present. Yeah. So that's my thoughts on that. I find it kind of funny that... They're actually doing all this stuff technologically. In real life, and they're changing the future in comics. Um, yeah, I find that very funny, actually. Batmite. Next up, Batmite. I've always had trouble taking this character seriously because there. Look at look it up on his Wikipedia page. There was an issue where he just was a drug-induced to lose the nation. Um, I'm picking the next 
this issue and maybe the next two issues two one or two issues because booster gold's supposed to be in it and you all know how much I love booster gold I, I do I just love booster gold yeah I reviewed that. I haven't read that. I think I reviewed... I think I reviewed the question... Um... I think I reviewed the question... Convergence, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. I'm not too sure. So, I can't. I can't definitely say. Here or there. But I like the question. Convergence. I like Convergence overall. I hope they do more with the character of Talos. Yeah. And now I guess I'm gonna talk about... And now I guess I'm gonna talk about Gravity Falls. Because the rest of these I don't think I... My mom hands me a file and that's how... I do my views, but but I don't think I've I don't think we've read these yet, so I can't give an honest opinion on them. So I can do an honest opinion on this one. Yeah. It's going to be a shame to see it go, because this is, this is the proper future of Sp Spider-Man. He's supposed to have a daughter, call her Annie, call her Mayday, call her whatever you want, but he's actually supposed to have a daughter, and that's supposed to be the proper future of Spider-Man. Eventually, this, this particular future gets destroyed. They'll have to explain that eventually. Yeah. So. Um. For now, I, I enjoyed it, but like I said, it's going to be sad to see it go. It's only, it's only a 12 issue series, so, yeah, it wasn't that Venom appeared in the issue, but, it was that, Spider-Man was having dreams about Venom, and so was his daughter, Annie. In this particular one. So. In this particular future. So. Let's see. I was going to say about gravity... I was going to say about Gravity Falls. Um, that Gravity Falls. Is, uh, um. They still didn't answer what. Who. Who makes the deals with Bill Cipher? Who's Bill? 
superior, but they did answer about Uncle Stan. Douglas McCrell was absolutely right when he found out that when we found out that um, Uncle Stan was a complete phony. Yeah. So. Let's see. What else? This. This was a um. It was a good episode of Gravity Falls. <laughs> you saw. The rocket gets sucked into the portal. It, it focused primarily on 1960 something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Wendy wasn't in it. I mean, I do think that Wendy was what is awesome. Yeah, definitely. I guess I'll do another video on Gravity Falls eventually.